And tonight, the fight to win Wisconsin moves forward here in the Badger State. Two major political events taking place in Wisconsin today. In Oshkosh, on the left-hand side of your screen, President Trump held a rally at the airport, while in, Wis in Milwaukee, on the right-hand side of your screen, Democrats marked the start of the Democratic National Convention, the DNC. We have complete coverage beginning with Ryan Curry in Oshkosh live for us now. Ryan, the president's speech wrapped up within the last hour or so. The economy and jobs among the topics, but he included other topics as well. Yeah, this really was a typical campaign rally from President Trump. There really wasn't one main theme. If there was a main point of focus, it was that he wanted his supporters and people attending the crowd to let them know that he was the better candidate and not Joe Biden. Now, Air Force One landed just after 4 o'clock this afternoon, and he was greeted by nearly 100 supporters all crowded in this little airport hangar at the Oshkosh airport. Uh, he started his speech by addressing the Black Lives Matter movement by calling it a gathering of his version of a peaceful protest in Oshkosh today. After that, he attacked his opponent on nearly every category you could think of, ranging from the economy to the current pandemic. He said Wisconsin will be an important state come November, and both he and his supporters think it will turn red once again. We are going to fight for every single aspect that you have going. We are never going to forget you. You didn't forget me in the last election, so I want to thank you very much. I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't vote for Donald Trump. And I, I believe this state will vote for Donald Trump. Now, the president is scheduled to have another campaign stop in Arizona tomorrow, another key swing state. One thing he did not really address a whole lot of tonight is the current debate of mail-in voting. It's something he has been very passionate about in the recent weeks. The only thing he said regarding that topic was that he just wanted voters to vote safely, be it absentee or in person, come November. Live in Oshkosh, Ryan Curry, NBC 26.